The Suspension Bridge, Bristol's most iconic feature. Opened in 1864, spanning across the Avon Gorge and River Avon, Isambard Kingdom Brunel's masterpiece has seen thousands of visitors walk across the deck. Now, it might seem like the most obvious and also the most windiest place to visit here in our city, but when was the last time you actually did? The bridge has been here for over 150 years and isn't going anywhere anytime soon. Many of you who live in the city would have driven past this site on a daily basis, but I bet you didn't realise there's more to do up here than you thought. So the suspension bridge is somewhere where perhaps, you know, a lot of people might drive past or even in the distance look at to admire in the view. But there's actually more to do here, isn't there? What, what kind of things can we get up to here at the bridge? Um, here at the bridge, we've got a visitor centre, which is open from 10 a.m. till 5 p.m. every day. And on Saturdays, Sundays and bank holidays at 3 p.m., there's a free tour that people can participate in. Do you get many visitors coming here at the bridge? Yes, we estimate we get a half a million visitors a year coming just to enjoy the view and see the sights here at the bridge. So obviously here at the bridge you can come up and admire the view, but there's also a, a lot of other things here as well. What are the other things that are surrounding the bridge here that we can visit? There's a lot in the Clifton area and in Lee Woods. So we have Clifton Observatory up on top of the Avon Gorge, which has a camera obscura in the roof and uh, steps down to the Giant's Cave um, where you can get an amazing view. Um, there's all the boutique shops in Clifton Village where you can get something nice to eat and drink. And so the main thing to highlight here is that it's free, isn't it? Everyone can come up here, apart from crossing over the bridge, which costs a pound. Um, it's all free, isn't it, the tours? That's right, everything that you can do here, the visitor centre and the tours, they're free of charge. And actually, if you do live locally, you can buy a bridge crossing card, which reduces the cost of your crossings if you, if you want to uh, get a cheaper rate. Now, for someone who perhaps hasn't been here before, if they're on their holidays at the moment here in Bristol, or even if they live in Bristol and have only seen the bridge, why would you recommend that they actually come up here for a visit? It's just a really beautiful place to be. The bridge changes every day depending on the weather. Um, so it's absolutely glorious here in the sunshine. You can sit out on the downs, um, have a picnic. You can come here, um, stand by the towers, look over the edge of the apartments, see the river. Um, it's, it's got the second largest uh, tidal differential in the world. So it rises and falls by 13 meters every day. It took 33 years to build the bridge and 99% of the ironwork is still original. Construction began in 1831, but it did suffer several setbacks and was not completed until 1864. Brunel was just 24 years old when his design for the bridge won a public competition. Even at that age, he was considered as a great engineer and you'll get more facts just like that if you pop over for one of the tours. Well, the first idea to build a bridge across the Avon Gorge um, originated in 1754 in the will of a wine merchant called William Vick. And when he died, he didn't have any dependents, so he decided to give a lot of his money away to charitable causes. And one of the things that he did is he left a thousand pounds to build a toll-free stone bridge across the Avon Gorge and actually a stone bridge was something that was going to be impossible to build. The, the gorge is too wide for that ever to have worked. Um, so by the 1830s, the people who'd been looking after the money, the merchant venturers, decided that 8,000 um, pounds, which had accrued an in interest, would be enough to build the bridge. They set up a bridge committee and they applied to parliament to build a suspension bridge across the gorge and uh, to make it a toll bridge so that the tolls would pay for its construction and its maintenance in the future. There's another cool feature by the bridge and it's something the kids will love. Follow the footpaths to the top and if you're feeling brave, zoom back down on this rock slide.
Now this stone slide has been smoothed over over the years from the amount of people sliding down it and I will have a little go in a moment but firstly you know if you want to pop down here to the suspension bridge it's only a pound to ride over you can go on a tour for free and sometimes feel the wobble from the wind or even simply come over to admire the view. Right let's have a little go on this then.